Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to my Kotlin tutorial series. In this part, we will learn about downloading and parsing JSON in Android Kotlin. So let's start. So I have created this project in which I have uh, created this pitch JSON button and I have connected this button to the, my, my main activity.kt file and I have created this is the connection of the button and this is the click event of the button so now we will add the dependency for uh, wally because we are going to download uh, json with wally library so for that i will come to this browser and i have opened this de in developer.android.com training wally and i have this uh, dependency so i'll copy this line Control C this and now I'll go to uh, Android Studio and uh, now I'll go to project and in this Gradle I'll go, I'll go to this uh, build.gradle module and uh, now here I will go to dependencies section so this is the dependencies section so I'll paste it here Control V this and now I'll sync the project so the dependency is added successfully into our project now I'll go to the browser and we will uh, go to this uh, JSON placeholder site and I'll go down and from here I will select a JSON for us so I'll select this uh, post JSON and we will look into this yes uh, we have a JSON array here and inside this JSON array we have JSON objects so we will uh, pass this uh, JSON so I'll copy this uh, URL and now I'll go to uh, Android Studio and now to uh, manactivity.kt file and now here I'll create a wall variable URL equals and we have this URL so to download JSON from URL we need internet permissions so for that I will come to this manifest file and here in this android.xml file I'll add uh, permission internet and now I'll close this now we are good to go so I'll go to this manactivity.kt file and here down outside this I'll create a new function so I'll use fun and, uh, and download task and curly braces and now we will write down our code here for downloading JSON so first we have to create a war wall queue variable par uh, wall request queue equals wally dot new request queue and this take a context so I'll use this and then we will create a request equals string request and now here it takes some uh, parameters so first is take the request method so request 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 so it will take this uh, wally request dot uh, method dot get comma and then it takes the URL so URL comma and then it takes the listener so we will use response dot listener and now here it takes response 
and so I will press enter here to make some space and now it is looking it is uh, on the screen and now we will create a comma here and response dot error listener and now outside this we will use uh, q dot add and here we will pass the request request so now we are good to go now we will pass the response here inside this so first I will uh, use log dot e and uh, use uh, error comma and uh, I'll print response here dot to string and now I'll call this method here download task and now let's run the application on the emulator and let's check it if it is downloading this JSON so now the application is running on the device so if I cl click on this uh, JSON button now you can see that it has downloaded JSON and shown it here now let me explain now this JSON so if I go to this browser and if I show you this uh, JSON now the, this first one is a square bracket and then we have a curly brace so in JSON square brackets represent JSON array and uh, curly braces represents JSON object so it start with this square bracket so it's start with a JSON array and then we have JSON objects multiple JSON objects inside this JSON array so now we will parse it now if I come to this uh, Android studio and go down now here as we have this uh, response as string so I'll come here and assign this uh, response to data variable uh, response dot to string and now the first one is JSON array so we will get JSON array first so I'll use here or j array equals um, JSON array and then I will pass the string data to it and now we have if I print this log dot e and uh, now if I use uh, array comma j array dot to string string and now if I run this quickly so now if I go to this uh, emulator and click on this fit JSON button now you will see that it has brought JSON and as this now we have got the JSON array so now we will get JSON object from it if I show you now we have got this JSON array completely so now we will look through it and we will get each JSON object so first we will use for loop on this so I'll come here to Android Studio and uh, now I'll remove this and I will use for loop so I'll use uh, for i n uh, json j array dot zero zero two zero dot dot and j array dot length minus one 
and then we will use curly braces and inside this we will get each object so I'll use here var j object equals um, j array dot get json object at i index and now if I print this object so we now it will print as this object by object so first I have to give it a tag so I'll use uh, j object and then comma j object dot to string and now if I run this so the application is running again so if I come here and click on this switch uh, JSON button now you can see that object is shown here and we do not have any JSON array here and now the other object is this one and then the other one is this one so it looped through each uh, object and printed here now we will get data from each object so I'll remove this line of code and now if I go to this browser now you can see we are at this object level so we are getting object one by one so now we will get these uh, values these from this object so I'll come to Android Studio and now here I'll use war and we have this user ID so user ID equals um, um, J object dot git uh, string ID is not string it is a uh, Int, so I'll use int and here I will give it user um, ID ice capital and then similarly I will get the ID so ID equals uh, JSON object dot get int and then I will pass in the string key which is ID and then we have uh, I'll copy this and control C this and paste it here and then we have this uh, as title ID and this will become title So title and then we have this uh, body so I'm getting it from here this is title and this is body so I'll uh, use body and uh, here I will pass in body and here I'll pass in title and now I'll print each one of them so log dot uh, e and uh, I'll use here um, user ID comma user ID dot to string and now I'll copy this see this and now I'll control V it here and again and again so now I'll uh, print uh, ID and this will become uh, ID and then title and this will become title as well and this will become body and this will become body as well 
so let's run it and let's check it so the application is running if I go here and click on this page JSON now it is it has shown me an error so where it gave me it an error so if I click on this so it is giving an error on this title and what is the error if I go above uh, the string cannot be converted to end so which line it is okay this is string title is string so I'll make this string get string and this second one as well this uh, one body is also a string so string and now if I run it again now it is running again so if I go here and pitch now you can see that all the data is fetched and uh, is printed so if I show you if I explain this uh, log gate now this is a single object from here to this this area this is the user ID this is the ID this is the title up to here and this is the body up to here and similarly this is another object and so on so that's all for today I hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment and the next video in the next video we will be creating a list view from JSON data using the Wally -E library thank you